You may not have heard of a place called Langudi Hill and in fact it looks nothing special. But as they say, looks are deceptive. Hidden within its vegetation are remains of one of the most important Buddhist sites in India called Pushpagiri Mahavihara which once attracted scholars and monks from around Asia. In fact, such was its fame that it even finds mention in the annals of the 7th century Chinese traveller Yun Sang. Not just this, it was one of the few stupas personally commissioned by Emperor Ashoka after the Kalenga War. We take you on a journey to uncover the mysteries of the Langudi Hill. After an hour's journey from Jajpur, a short trek through the Langudi Hill complex leads to the scattered remains of once thriving monasteries and stupas. As you climb the hill, you come across the remains of a stupa which many archaeologists believe was endowed by the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka himself sometime in the 3rd century BCE, just after the Kalinga War. Moving further ahead, you come across remains of votive stupas and rock cut reliefs commissioned during the reign of the Shunga dynasty between the 2nd century BCE and the 1st century CE. Interestingly, some of the rock cut images feature the earliest known representations of the Buddha in the Dhyana Mudra. Beyond these, you can see the remains of the excavations carried out by the Archaeological Survey of India in the 1990s. Following the Kalinga War in the 3rd century BCE, Emperor Ashoka is said to have endowed various stupas and monasteries across Odisha. By the 7th century CE, many of these monasteries such as Pushpagiri along with Ratnagiri, Lalitgiri and Udaygiri became great centres of learning and whose fame spread far and wide. These monasteries became centres of learning for Mahayana and Vajrayana schools of Buddhism and centres of patronage for kings and commoners alike. The Chinese traveller Yun Sang visited Pushpagiri in the 7th century and wrote about the magnificence of the monastery here in his memoirs. Along with Nalanda and Vikram Shila, the Pushpagiri was considered one of the most important Buddhist learning centres in India and found mention in a number of Indian and Tibetan Buddhist texts. Much like other Buddhist monasteries like Lalitgiri and Udaygiri, the Pushpagiri Mahavihara too was abandoned following the decline of Buddhism after the 13th century. Thanks to the efforts of the government of Odisha, Langudi Hill is now a protected site. Until the 1990s, historians and archaeologists were uncertain about the exact location of Pushpagiri mentioned in the Buddhist records. Some experts believed that the monasteries at either Lalitgiri or Udaygiri were possibly the site of Pushpagiri. However, it was only in the late 1990s, thanks to the studies by the Odisha Institute of Maritime and Southeast Asian Studies, followed by a series of excavations carried out by the ASI, that unearthed evidence which pointed to Langudi Hill as the actual location of the fabled Pushpagiri Mahavihara. While little of the past grandeur can be seen here today, archaeologists have discovered around 34 rock-cut stupas spread over 143 acres. Interestingly, during the last excavations carried out here during the year 2001, archaeologists have discovered a number of artefacts connecting the site with Emperor Ashoka which are still being studied. What makes Langudi so alluring even today is the fact that there is so much more still waiting to be discovered.